Heading out, heading to Rockfish Gap. Southern entrance to Shenandoah National Park. Right. It's a then sunny morning. Right. What is it, like 50, 50, 54 degrees Fahrenheit? Pretty perfect. A few light fluffy clouds here and there. Um, couldn't ask for much better hiking weather, I don't think. No wind, no humidity. <laughs> it's about a 10 minute drive to the trailhead, so. Turn right. See you up there. chips and crackers and pretzels and popcorn and had a cooler full of just Coke and uh, Mountain Dew and Gatorade and I think there's an apple in there and the Snickers and Cliff Duos and the Swedish Fish, Snickers. So anyway, so hopefully some through hikers out there will, will be lucky and my wife will get rid of this stuff because otherwise she'll be stuck with it at home. <laughs> All right, thanks. It's too windy to keep shooting up here. The sounds like it's not, so I'll wait until I get in the woods and it calms down a little bit. Hopefully, I'll maybe shoot some footage from the from the trail. All right, so I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Here we are, where the trail goes up into the woods. Bye, Paul. This is it. Bye, guys. See you at Katahdin. <laughs> and you can walk home. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Have the time of your life! <laughs> so proud of you! Hey everybody, this is uh, Jedi support team number one here. I just dropped him off at the trail and it is super windy and I'm in my car, which is not the most scenic area to do this, but it is windy and cold today, but it's lovely in the woods. I just went up a little bit to see him off. And um, in case anyone has a team member at home that wants to do this one day, so many people, Michelle, how can you let him go or how can you um, deal with him being gone for X number of weeks or months at a time. And I just have to say that it, it is a definitely a team effort. Um, he is living in the woods. I have the easy part. I'm home in my bed with heat and on showers and food. And 
you know, basically just do the same routine day after day. You know, yeah, so I have to mow the lawn and make sure some bills are paid and I will get lonely. And of course, I miss him already. That is, you know, not easy. But I am so excited and proud of him. And I mean, someday is now. You just never know what is going to happen in life. And you don't have a later that's guaranteed. So to see him set off on something that he's wanted to do, it is makes me happy. Even though I'm crying right now, I'm just emotional. I think this is such a good thing. And if you are able to make it work somehow for your loved one that has a dream, whatever the dream is, it doesn't have to be the AT. Just please think outside the box and see what you can do to make it happen. Um, this is a great day. It's a little bit sad but also exciting. I can't wait to follow his videos and see him out there. Um, so it's an honor to support him and to just watch this adventure unfold. I love you, Jedi. Be safe out there and drink your electrolytes. <laughs> All right, bye. So just a couple hundred yards up the trail, Rockfish Gap. You've got your permit station here. And you can take a permit if you need one. They got pens, tags, and whatnot. And you can uh, hang your hang your permit off your pack. I've got mine in my my fupa, a little fanny pack, and they have all their information about backcountry camping. And the trail goes up that way. So that's where we're headed. Let's do it. Pretty cool rock outcropping, including that big one, kind of looming over the trail. You can hear the wind in the trees. Thought I'd shoot some footage of myself headed down the trail here. The wind is a little bit calmer than it was when I left. Uh, and the trail smoothed out in this one little stretch. There's not so many rocks. And roots and things and it's a slight grade uphill but not too bad so I'll try not to do too many of these arms length videos but the wind was bad enough I didn't feel the you know mounting the camera my phone that is on my stick pick and running the lavalier mic to my collar I didn't think that that would be worth it all that effort uh, I didn't think you know the, the video or the audio might not come out that great so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick shot of myself. Hi. <laughs> Some kind of old fence. Old fence gate. Probably used to be farmland at one time. Or maybe grazing land. And that fence kept the livestock in. Or maybe just delineated property line. That's the trail. That's where it came from. You can hear the wind. I don't know if my voice is coming out so good. It's super windy up here. And back around. Give it a little taste of the trail here. You can see it's got some rocks on it. A little, a little tricky in spots. Not terrible, but you do have to watch your footing. I'm not going to do a whole lot of POV shots like this. At least not early on, just because it means I can't use my trekking poles, and that becomes dangerous. Because if I slip or I stumble, 
I have no way to catch myself like I do with the poles. So anyway, this gives you a little taste of what the trail is like coming out of the Rockfish Gap trailhead headed up to Calf Mountain Shelter. Here's a good example of when you got to be paying attention. As you can see, the trail splits off here. Which way should I go? If you look carefully, up there on the right there's a tree with a blaze on it. Right there. So always be paying attention because you can wind up going down the wrong path. <laughs> 